idea for the NERV, which is Network Emergency Response Vehicle, came out of Hurricane Katrina. So the ability uh, to integrate voice, video, data, to have the entire situational awareness picture in front of first responder, police officer, fire department, it's imperative today. The greatest thing about this vehicle is the integration of the various technologies across the board and having that at your fingertips instantly. Having full call manager, unified communications, being able to have all the data connectivity that I would have in my office, and then on top of that, being able to have telepresence calls, being able to stream media. So it's not just one thing. Johnston County is located uh, in the uh, central to eastern part of North Carolina. Um, it's not a, a question of if, when, it's a question of when we have another hurricane. We're not asking for that, but you know, if it was to occur, we're going to have to reach out for help because just that type of incident really taxes your public safety system. Whether it's local, state, or federal, we've got an obligation and it's public safety. Interoperability is the key. We work as a team. Everybody's got to be on the same sheet of music. We've all got to be able to communicate back and forth, whether it's by phone, walkie-talkie, radio, or whatever. It's the difference between success and failure, and sometimes life or death. You know, we're very fortunate to have Cisco um, conducting this exercise here today. Everybody will be able to see what the potential of, of the nerve will bring to Johnston County once it arrives on the scene or on location. Within just a few minutes, we have full um, you know, voice data and video con connectivity. And we can give them a wireless cloud so that, that somebody can walk up with a laptop and get on the internet or get on their, their various applications. And then we enable the end user to complete their mission. So everything we do is available off the shelf. We just decided to put it into a package, a mobile package, and use it in a, in a, a challenging environment. Uh, we've actually uh, reached out to employees at Cisco and create what we call dirt teams. We have a wireless engineer, we have a voice engineer, we have um, a routing and switching engineer, we have an RF engineer, and all these folks are experts in their field. We also have IPEX, which is Cisco's IP interoperable collaborative systems, which allows us to bridge disparate radio systems, as well as tie in your enterprise phone network, your IP phone network, and your computer systems right down to your cell phone to dial in so we can connect all the people that have that intellectual capital that needs to be brought together to command an incident. What we're going to bring to the table is the ability to connect all of your legacy systems to each other and be able to accomplish the mission that you need to do with all the information available at your fingertips. When you go into a large-scale incident, you're relying on agencies to respond throughout the nation and you want to make sure that you're able to flow information to them and they're able to get information back to you. I think collaboration is a huge part of what we do and after Homeland Security came about with the grant funding that's when we started meeting together with outside agencies and our internal and external agencies to determine what kind of equipment do we need to purchase and how can we best utilize this funding so that it um, helps all agencies involved. Cisco to step forward provide this truck, the equipment, the men to run it, to come down to partner with law enforcement, fire rescue, but really it's partnering with our citizens of our county to say, hey, we care about you. We make some really cool stuff. Um, it's just, it really excites me to be able to provide these folks with the, with the ability to communicate with anybody, anywhere, over any medium. Readiness and technology, um, there's a close relationship there. But as, as public safety migrates towards an IP-based emergency services communication system, then I think uh, we're going to be able to have true readiness.